Good morning, students. Uh, I hope you are all fine and uh, doing your work regularly. Now, this video is on the story The Question of Trust by Victor Canning. The story is about a person whose name is Horace Standby and uh, before proceeding to read this story, before proceeding to make you explain this story, make you understand this story, I want to tell you two things about these thieves. The two things which are famous about thieves are, you know, you should always set a thief to catch a thief. That means to understand the, the thought process, to understand the psyche of a thief, you have to be a thief or only a thief can catch a thief. This is the first point that the, that the author has mentioned in uh, in the story, before the story in fact. And the second one is, there is honor among thieves. That means a thief will never ditch a thief. So these two points have been highlighted by the author first. Or we have to keep these two things in mind. We might have heard that, you know, these uh, thieves are very, very trustworthy. They don't, they don't ditch each other. So this thing is quite famous among, among the society of thieves. So first thing is, a thief uh, you, to catch a thief, you have to, you have to be a thief. So there are two characters in the story. The first one is Horace Dandby, as I already told you. He's a 50-year-old honest citizen. And the second one is the lady in red. So these two characters are there in the story. Now, now first let me tell you one thing. That Horace Dandby had a good reputation in the society. He was about 50 and unmarried. He made locks and had two helpers. He loved rare and expensive books. You know, he had spent some time uh, in, a, in a prison library where he had some work and there he developed love for books. Horace robbed a safe every year. Now, this money which he earned from robbing, uh, robbing uh, some rich person uh, once in a year lasted for the entire year. So that money was sufficient enough to to uh, to enjoy and to buy some new books he was now out on a on committing a robbery now this story begins in this way for two weeks horace had studied now he has he has he has selected a spot he has selected a house now he's out to commit the crime so for two weeks horace had studied the house of shotover grangi he had to burgle this house Horace Danby entered the house. Uh, Horace had allergy from flowers. He could not. He used. To, he had some allergy. He had some physical. He had some problem with these flowers. So he had some allergy. So he started sneezing. Then he heard a voice. The voice told him that he could cure the sneeze. It was the voice of a woman. Now, Horace didn't know who this woman was, but he guessed that the woman whom he was talking to was the lady of the house was the owner of the house she stood in the doorway she was young and pretty his first thought was to run the lady told him that she would telephone the police she would tell them about about him Horace told him to let him go and forget she ever saw him the lady put one condition for letting Horace go Now she told him that she had promised her husband to take her jewel, uh, jewelry to the bank. Uh, she had however left the jewels in the safe. Like all the jewelry that according to her was in the safe. Now she told him that she wanted to wear the jewelry in a party that night. She came down to get them but she had forgotten the numbers to open the safe that means she had forgotten the the key combin the key combination the number combination which was required to open the safe so she needed his help and horace opened the safe for her now actually it was it was it was a kind of trap or that we will come to know later on but first we need to understand the story so after now now what happened this person this person helped uh, help this lady, the lady in red, and 
uh, he opened the safe for her and she might have and he left this place and what happened in between you know what he did you know because earlier he had come to to rob the house now he realized that the owner of the house is telling him to help her out because she wanted the safe to be open that means she she removed her he removed his her his glass his gloves and helped her in like opening the uh, the safe now after two days what happened now the incident is over after two days a policeman had arrested him for the jewelry robbery at shot over grange dent by dent by's finger fingerprint were found all over the room he had opened the safe without gloves he said to the police that the landlady of the house said to him to open the safe but the landlady was 60 60 years old she was dent she uh, like she was she was not the same woman whom he met on that day she said dent by's story is a nonsense no horace is now in prison he often thinks of the charming and clever young lady she was in the same profession she had simply tricked him dent by gets angry when anyone talks about honor among thieves because now according to him there is no honor among thieves why there is no honor among thieves because he now realized that a thief had broken the trust of another thief now we realize at the end that the lady with whom he talked on that night on that evening rather was not actually the owner of that house she was also another another thief maybe uh, because uh, because dandby was good at you know uh, making locks and breaking locks that's why she took help of him and maybe this helped her in robbing the house or in taking all the gold and jewelry which was there there in the safe but but the point is that a thief had ditched another thief thank you very much children i hope you understood the story i want you to read the story once again understand the story highlight all the difficult words if if you find any and uh, uh and practice loud speaking uh and uh, then we'll proceed on to question answers thank you very much have a great day